Hey everyone, welcome back to another programming video. Today we're kind of switching gears. I know in the last 20 or so videos I've talked about C-sharp, Entity Framework, all that good stuff. Today we're switching gears back to Python because I had a user submit a question talking about encrypting something in the command line and I was practicing some ways that I wanted to do that. And one of the things I ran into are command line arguments. I haven't talked about that on this channel yet. Why not just make a video talking about that separately? And then in the next video, we can talk about encryption and the command line. Like I can write some kind of sentence and encrypts it. And we can also decrypt it from the command line. So let's talk about command line arguments in Python. And we're going to use this Python native library called sys. It's system specific parameters and functions. And the actual property that we're using in sys, and let's see if we can find it, is argv right here, sys.argv. And that is a way for us to go through, as you can see right here. Um, they have argv and then in square braces zero, referencing the first command line argument. And we're gonna use that to our advantage to go through them. But let's do some examples. Um, so I'm going to import sys. And if you don't know what a command line argument is, real quick, let's say I want to run this command line .python file. So we'll do this. And let's say I want to pass in some kind of parameters or some arguments. And uh, just for the sake of imagination, let's say our script here deals with trees. And maybe the first parameter or argument is the number of trees. So we'll pass in five, and then we'll space, and then maybe we need to pass in actually the string trees. I don't know, I'm just making things up. Um, how do we access these different arguments? Well, that's what we're going to talk about. So the first thing we might wanna do is just to get a feel for it, let's just show how many arguments have been passed. And believe it or not, this right here, this dot command line dot Python file, the one that we're going to run is it, it, it in itself is an argument. So there's actually three arguments in this statement right here. There's what we're gonna run, and then two different parameters, I guess, that we're going to pass in to the script. So to show that, let's just do print, and then we can do the length of sys.argv. Then we'll save, and let's just hit enter with what we got right here. And you can see the number three is passed because, we, like I said, we have three total command line arguments. And so if we wanted to print out all of the command line arguments, we can do for x in sys.argv print x. And let's just rerun all of that. And here you can see first argument is this, the second one is five, and the last argument is trees. Now let's say we didn't want to grab this. We only wanted the true arguments because really we don't, we don't need to know that they ran this this python file we we can already assume that because the code is <laughs> is in that script right so how we can avoid grabbing this command line dot python file i'm going to have variable n equals sys dot arg v and not only that but it's actually going to be the length of that so n is going to store a number value in this case three when we run that and instead of 4x in sys.argv, we're going to do 4x in range of 1 to n. So we're actually going to start at index 1, which isn't the first index. Remember, 0 is the first index. So we're going to totally skip over this one and only grab the 5 and the trees. And to do that, let's just print sys.argv. And then in square braces, we're just going to place x because this is the index of the arguments that we're looping through and we're printing. So let's save this and let's run this again. Make this a little bigger. And we have this three because I have still printing at the very beginning the length of the number of arguments, which is true, there are three, but we only print out two of the arguments because remember we skipped over the first one, which is what Python file are we running? So let's just do a simple little test application or test script just to show why you might want to use this. So maybe you want to do different things in the script depending on what arguments get passed. And the first thing I want to do is I want to grab, well, what's the argument that did get passed? So we can do arg is equal to sys.argv of index one, not index zero, because index one will give us the first argument. And then let's just do some if statements. If 
arg is equal to uh, the string test. Let's print out this is a test. And maybe we can do an else if arg is equal to uh, mom. We can print out your mom is a 10 out of 10. You know, you got to have your your mom joke in every <laughs> in every Python script. Um, and then we can do an else at the end. If it's nothing that we recognize, let's just print the argument is invalid. Okay. So you can see how this can be useful. You probably won't just print out something. You'll probably do a bunch of different logic depending on what argument gets passed. Uh, but this is just a, a little dummy just to show you how it can work. And let's just try it out. Let's try the first one and let's run Python command line.python and just pass in the string test. And it goes to the first one, says this is a test. We'll do it again, but with mom. Says your mom is a 10 out of 10. And then lastly, let's do something it doesn't recognize. Let's just put two right square braces at the end. And it says the argument is invalid. Now you can do this with multiple things. You can also obviously have more than one argument. You can have arg2, which is going to equal sys.argv and then index2. And then you can add more logic to this. So you could say if arg is equal to test and you know arg2 is this do this, or if arg is equal to test and arg2 is this, do that, whatever. Um, hopefully you guys get the point. But this is the basics of how to use command line and how to grab those values that are passed in from the user and deal with it accordingly. So hopefully you learned something new. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care.